I need to replace the feet on the six legs of my bolt-in roll cage. You might remember that my friend Billy had to cut one of them out in order to put in the harness bar. I don't think either of the two on the rear stays were original and the rest were quite rusted. The welds on these rear mounting plates where they met the quarter panel were a little bit high to allow the feet sit flush so I ground them down a little bit. I'm going to do this very carefully because I don't want to damage any of the original roll cage. So instead of just cutting into the weld from the side, I'm actually going through the base plate uh, around the circumference and then I'll bring it down with the grinder in a moment. The plate was thick enough that I could actually cut across it with the thin cutting disc. I could just about see the crack between the original cage and the wells with the naked eye. This quick release nut for the angle grinder is holding up really well after nearly four years of abuse. I always make sure to power off the grinder when changing over abrasives. The difficult thing is to remember to switch it back on again before you try to work. Taking down the wells from the side, much more gentle process and gradual, so I won't go into the metal of the original cage, but I will be able to see the seam between the, the plate and the cage. Once the gap was visible all the way around, I was able to pry off the remainder of the plate. I used a flap wheel then just to clean down the end. And this reminded me that the center of the rear stay is actually threaded, so a third bolt can go up through the wheel arch to hold it in place. That's one side ready, and I'll do the exact same job on the other side. I have the little footing sitting on the mounting, so I'll just put a bit of weld through primer on that and take a quick break. Reminded of that additional bolt hole, I decided to mark the plates and drill that. That's one of the original underfloor mounting plates. So I'll copy that with a, a 12 mil hole through the center. Starting at around four mil, I'll go up in stages. The bench drill has really kept me sane with the amount of drilling I've had to do to fit this roll cage. It's probably not compulsory to use this, but it's a shame not to use it while it's there. And actually it'll help me to pull the bar down tight to the plate. No, I'm not going to try and push the 12mm drill bit straight through the 3mm reinforcing on the floor. But this will help me to get a perfect centre in the plate underneath the footing. I did the same on the other side and there you go, I'm starting off with a small drill bit. I did this on both sides and then went up a stage and then finally through with the 12 mil. Then I lifted the rear section of the cage into position and put a few bolts through the floor on the B pillar to locate it properly and then bolted up through the wheel arch into those rear stays. I then put a single tack on the inside of each of those. I'll do the front bars next and do the continuous welds on them first as experienced before doing these awkward ones. 